When Maria entered her plane and got to her seat, she would have never expected to see this. A girl whose hair is over the back of her seat. When she asked nicely to remove her hair, she didn't respond in any sort of way, she just continued reading her book. Maria didn't know how to respond to this and the plane took off, but then she came up with a perfect plan. Causing a scene. Maria and the man next to her had finalized their perfect plan. If there was one thing that would make this girl regret her actions, it would be this, but it would also cause quite a scene. Maria clicks a button and an undeniable sound fills the plane. Everyone stopped what they were doing and looked at Maria. Was she really about to do this? The man beside her and also her partner in crime looked hopefully at Maria. She feels the adrenaline pump through her veins as she lifts her hand towards the chair in front of her and then a scream. But what had Maria done to make this girl regret her actions? There are always a lot of things happening on a plane. You put all sorts of people together in a cramped space but most of them live in their own little world, sometimes to the annoyance of others. You see videos circling the internet of people getting kicked out of a plane but never think it would happen to you. This was also what Maria thought. She liked watching those videos but never expected them to actually happen. She was about to go on a 14-hour flight and was waiting by the gate. She observed the people around her and wondered if any of them would cause a scene. It was innocent until it turned out to be true. She noticed a couple sitting next to each other. As she observed their body language, she put them in the category could potentially cause a scene. Next, her gaze went on to a girl probably her own age. She put her in a not likely to cause a scene category. She did this for all the people there. There were 45 minutes left until the gate opened. She'd done almost all the mental games she knew, so she just listened to music and looked out the window. Maria found traveling alone very lonely. She wasn't someone who would suddenly start a conversation with a stranger, but that was about to change. The gate finally opened and a line started to form. Maria stood halfway in the line and she heard a lot of sighs from behind. People were getting agitated by the people in the front of the line. There seemed to be a problem with one of the passengers' boarding passes. It was the girl who was about the same age as Maria. She raised her voice at the staff when her boarding pass failed. Maria's predictions almost came true until the issue got resolved and the girl walked through the gate. Finally, the line moved again, but it wasn't over yet. The girl had a strange energy around her. At first, Maria categorized her as not likely to cause a scene, but she started to have doubts after having watched the scene at the exit of the gate. There was something about the girl that Maria disliked, as if she was about to do something unpredictable. The line continued, and after 10 minutes, it was finally Maria's turn to get on the plane. She walked through the narrow path with her trolley behind her, zigzagging people left and right that were about to take a scene. While counting the seats, she could see the girl that she disliked. She hoped to sit far away, but she ended up right behind the eight ball. When Maria almost reached her seat, she and the girl's eyes met for a brief moment. The strange girl looked straight at Maria with a disapproving and arrogant face. She continued walking with her trolley still behind and felt relief when she passed her, but didn't feel long. Unfortunately for Maria, she realized that her seat was right behind the row where the arrogant girl was located. When it sunk in, it gave her a feeling of anxiety. Well, better than sitting next to her at least, she thought to herself. But even though she didn't have to make any more eye contact, it would only get worse. The plane hadn't even taken off and not everyone was seated yet, but the girl had already flung her hair over her seat. It took Maria off guard and she looked confused at the long brown hair in front of her. The hair almost reached the fold-out table and right into Maria's water cup. Maria sighed, undecided about what to do. In the end, she was determined to wait a few minutes to see if this girl would move her hair on her own. Nothing seemed to change. Maria looked around to see the reaction of her fellow passengers, but everyone was too busy with their own things to notice it. Maria had to solve this by herself, something she wasn't very comfortable with. She cleared her throat as a suggestion that something was bothering her, hoping the girl to catch on and move her hair without Maria having to confront her any more than that. To her disappointment, the girl did nothing. She then leaned over the left side of the chair in front of her to kindly ask the girl to move her hair. I'm sorry to bother you, but your hair is almost hanging in my drink. All Maria received was silence. She wondered if the girl was listening to music, so she slightly tapped her shoulder and repeated the question. To her surprise, all the girl in front of her did was putting the front locks of her hair behind her ear as a way of showing Maria that she didn't in fact have anything in her ears. It became more and more clear what kind of person Maria was dealing with. She was just straight up ignoring her request. Maria leaned back against the back of her seat, confused as well as stunned. She forgot how arrogant people could be and started to imagine what kind of spoiled background this girl came from. She sighed at first, but she didn't want to let this pass so easily. One way or another, this girl was moving her hair. She began to sum up all the ways in which she could make this girl move her hair. Maria wrote it down on the airplane brochure, starting with her moving it herself, followed by pulling her hair and so on. Maybe a flight attendant should be notified. This was all too easy as Maria wanted to teach this girl a real lesson. Maria noticed now that the man sat next to her had been intriguingly looking at the scene as well as what she'd written down just seconds ago. He suggested something she would have never thought of. It was the perfect combination of being cruel but just. Maria hesitated, but eventually she knew this was the only way to make this girl regret her actions. In the next 15 minutes, they started preparing for what was about to go down. All this time, the arrogant girl had not moved her hair locks a single inch. Maria wanted to be sure of her payback, which started by making clear to the girl in front of her that she was sitting next to a man. 
To do this, she spoke loudly with her partner in crime about his beard and tattoos, hoping for their target in front to pick up on their conversation. At first, the girl was to see whether this would scare the girl into moving her hair, but that didn't work at all. Afterward, the man went to the toilet and while on his way, he made sure that he had severe eye contact with the annoying girl. This would ensure that she knew about the kind of man that was sitting behind her. She looked back, but as expected, she remained unfazed, but this was soon going to change. The man sat down on his seat next to Maria and they exchanged glances. He told Maria he had eye contact with the girl, but that she remained unfazed. Maria didn't like confrontation, but this was just plain out rude of the girl. How could anyone be so careless? Maria's partner in crime suggested they go through with their original plan, but Maria was hesitant. She wanted to scare the girl, but it would cause a big scene, so she wondered if it was worth it or not. But then the girl did something that made Maria's blood boil. The girl in front of Maria went to the toilet and on her way back she sought eye contact with Maria. When the eyes met, the girl curled the corners of her mouth and smiled grimly, as if she told Maria, I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to stop. Maria couldn't believe that this was happening. You only see these things in movies, but actually encountering them is a whole other feeling. She felt the urge to take revenge on this girl, so she gave one look at the man next to her as a sign to say it's on. Maria had to be very careful. She didn't want to be caught by a flight attendant and it couldn't escalate too far because she didn't want to cause an emergency landing. She was dealing with something very delicate, but the man beside Maria kept pushing her to continue their plan. It wasn't that Maria didn't like the plan anymore. She loved it, but it was very intense. It could take a turn for the worse in a matter of seconds. And besides that, Maria had never done anything like that before. But she would soon realize it was the only option. Maria asked the man next to her if he wanted to execute their plan instead of her, but he refused. It was Maria's problem after all. So she decided then and there that she would do it. All she had to do now was wait for the perfect moment, and that would be very soon. Maria looked around to see if anyone was watching her. She was about to do something very out of character and she felt as if everyone was paying attention to her, but no one was. Her heart raced in her chest and her breathing got heavier. Was she really about to do this? She reached inside her purse when suddenly a flight attendant walked past. Maria shot up and quickly acted as if nothing had happened. This was all very stressful for her. This would never happen if the girl had moved her hair on her own and hadn't been so rude, but that wasn't the case. She took a few breaths and contemplated if this was the right time. The flight attendants had done their round of food and beverages so they wouldn't return anytime soon. So it was now or never. Maria looked to her left and right before reaching down again. She reached into her bag and grabbed something. She looked down at what was in her hands and quickly got up again. She held the object in one of her hands and shielded it with the other so no one could see what she was holding. She kept looking around to be 100% sure no one was watching her. But Maria didn't notice that the man beside her was sneakily watching her. He looked at her with a side eye while typing frantically on his phone. He also kept his phone in his hand at all times, like he waited for something to happen. It wouldn't be long now. It would be any moment now that Maria would execute her plan. She imagined how the girl would react. Perhaps she would scream or shout. Maybe she would cry or turn around and punch Maria in the face. Maria shuddered at that last thought, but there was no going back now. The girl in front of Maria suddenly moved. She sat up a little higher, causing the tips of her hair to tip over into Maria's cup. Maria reached forward, but she was too slow. The cup fell over and spilled a little layer of water everywhere. This was the last straw. The next few minutes felt like hours to Maria. It was as if everything had turned into slow motion and she wasn't acting as herself. She looked at her hands, but they moved on their own. She tried to resist, but Maria had no control over what was going to happen next. Before Maria knew it, she reached down again and grabbed the same object out of her bag. She didn't look around her because she didn't care if anyone saw her. She had to take revenge on this girl. This had gotten out of hand and Maria had to put a stop to this. She turned the object on and a very familiar sound filled the plane. Suddenly, all the passengers close to Maria turned to her and looked in shock at what she was about to do. They couldn't believe that it had come to this. Maria looked at her hand one last time. The man beside Maria held his phone up high to film what was about to happen, but Maria didn't notice. She was entirely in her own world of anger and didn't pay attention to the world around her. Then the girl in front of them screamed and in a matter of seconds, it was done. The flight attendant came rushing to the girl's aid and was confused about what was going on. The girl frantically touched her hair and fearfully explained what she thought had happened. The flight attendant gasped, but all Maria could do was laugh. Everything was going according to her plan. The girl turned around and looked at Maria with watery eyes. You did not just do that, she screamed. Why would you raise her a piece of my hair? But Maria knew that wasn't what had happened. Then she held her phone up above her head and pressed play. The sound of an electric razor filled the plane and suddenly everyone knew what was going on. The shocked faces of the people around them turned into smiles and the flight attendant's face looked relieved. But it wasn't over yet. The girl in front of Maria wasn't so happy about this. The girl was very upset, even knowing everything was fake. She demanded Maria be kicked off the flight, but the flight attendant told her that wasn't possible. Maria didn't actually cut her hair, so technically she didn't do anything wrong. But this only made matters worse. Maria had categorized the girl at the gate as not likely to cause a scene, but oh how wrong she was. When the flight attendant told her no, she snapped and began yelling at everyone around her. Meanwhile, the man beside Maria was still filming everything, but then something happened. One of the pilots walked out of the cockpit and ordered the girl to calm down. 
He threatened to make an emergency landing if she wouldn't stop immediately. This made the girl calm down and the chaos settled a little bit, but the adrenaline was still pumping through Maria's veins. Maria finally looked beside her and saw the phone in the man's hands. Without thinking, she grabbed it and looked at what he was doing. She suddenly realized the man had been filming everything. Initially, she wanted him to delete it, but when she thought better about it, she changed her mind. Maria laughed at the idea that she'd become one of those videos circling the internet. She'd watched those videos before her flight, but never imagined starring in one of them herself. The man posted the video when the plane landed and Maria became an internet sensation. And for the girl, she had learned her lesson, hopefully. Storyblocks Audio